Um, this was a lady who was uh, 62 years of age that had stage four metastatic breast cancer. Um, and the way that she was originally diagnosed with stage four breast cancer was that she developed severe pain and weakness in her, in her legs. Well, of course, she went um, and had an x-ray done, and the x-ray showed multiple collapsed uh, retrieval bodies, um, secondary to a metastatic disease of some sort, which eventually was breast cancer. So she sort of had an end-stage disease. Um, there was pretty much nothing that they could do for her other than tell her that, you know, you're probably going to be dead in the next year. Um, they offered her nothing for her bones um, because her bones were so deteriorated. Um, and they pretty much didn't really offer much of anything. Um, they offered her chemotherapy, um, which um, she said, is it going to make me really, really sick? Yes, it will. But, you know, it may give you another two or three months of life. Uh, right. They offered her radiation, which she did a couple times to try to help improve her metastases to her spine. Um, and pretty much she was offered um, tamoxifen uh, or aromatase inhibitors. She tried those earlier, um, didn't do well on them. After a month of taking them, she stopped them because it made her feel so sick. Um, so anyway, um, she ended up getting referred to um, a doctor who's one of the attendees um, by a friend of the doctor. And make a long story short, um, she ended up going to the doctor and um, the doctor then referred her to me because he was a little bit uncomfortable with doing what I do and what I did. Um, after um, about 10 months of being on very high dose testosterone and very high dose progesterone, 200 QID, um, and uh, having a testosterone level um, typically around 800 to 1,000, which is the level that we shoot for for a man. Mm -hmm. She had her scans redone. The only spot in her body that still lights up as a tumor is in her sternum. And all of the other metastases that lit up on scans are no longer there. Wow. All of her tumor markers that were into 500 to 1,000 are now all back below 50. And she's just ecstatic. She feels great. Um, and of course, you know, her quality of life is tremendously better as a result of it. Whereas before, you know, she was depressed and wanted to, you know, kill herself and die because of her disease and the fact that nobody wanted to give her anything or could do anything other than offer her chemo um, or the aromatase inhibitors or tamoxifen. There was pretty much nothing else to do. Um, and her numbers, her tumor markers are excellent. They're back down into the normal range. Um, she went to this, her oncologist and the oncologist looked at the scans and looked at the tumor markers and said, okay, um, are you doing chemo with somebody else? No. Are you doing, you know, any medication, the tamoxifen, aromatase inhibitors? No. Then why are your tumor markers back down into the normal range? And why are all the scans now normal except for the sternum? What are you doing? Um, she says, well, I'm taking high dose progesterone and testosterone. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. And, and she got into a confrontation with him about what she was doing and she couldn't get him to grasp, look at my scans and look at my tumor markers. What is it that you don't understand about those tests? Well, you shouldn't be, uh, no, you didn't answer my question. She says, so anyway, she got into this big confrontation and um, confrontation with him and decided that it was no longer in her best interest to see this oncologist. So she had to switch oncologists, take her medical records with her and go see the oncologist. But she did not tell the oncologist what she was doing. Right. Is and the oncologist sad? says, you know, so what, what are you doing? And she says, I can't tell you. Well, why can't you tell me? I just can't tell you. Well, why can't you tell me? I'd like to know what you're doing. You know, which, which chemotherapy drug are you taking? This resulted in such tremendous improvement. She says, I'm not taking a chemotherapy drug. Well, then what are you doing to get those results? I can't tell you. And I refuse to tell you. And I won't tell you. I just want you to follow my tumor markers. And I want you to order my scans and follow my scans. That's all I want you to do. I don't want any treatment. I just want you to do the test. That's all I want. 